Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, city leaders speaking out against the violence in Jacksonville. Police work to solve a drive-by shooting that killed this 13-year-old boy. Y'all stole my baby. Y'all took him. For what? Because y'all got beef. Y'all knew them babies was in the car. That was the mother of 13-year-old Prince Holland. His family members identifying him as the victim today. So far, police have not announced any arrests, and city leaders are fed up with this being one example of the deadly violence Jacksonville sees regularly. As a leader, I'm furious. I've seen this violence plague our town for too long. I've spoken with mothers and fathers who've had to do the un unimaginable, the unthinkable, and bury their children. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati joining us outside Jacksonville Police Headquarters tonight with the latest. Renee? Joy, investigators here at JSO, along with other agencies, including the FBI, are working around the clock to solve this case. They want the killer to be held responsible. The community left outraged after this 13-year-old Prince Holland was killed in a drive-by shooting over the weekend. As we prepare for the holidays, a family in our community is preparing to bury their child. City leaders from the mayor to Sheriff T.K. Waters called for an end to the violence Monday. Jacksonville will not, and I'll repeat, will not tolerate violence for one more day. Police say a group of boys had just left football tryouts when the SUV they were in was sprayed with bullets. The drive-by shooting happened at this intersection in northwest Jacksonville Saturday night. Holland died at the scene. They snatched my baby life away from him. His mother says he was an honor roll student who also volunteered to mow his neighbor's lawns. He went to church every Sunday. He played sports. He took the other kids to play sports, so they went out here doing drugs, yeah, smoking, no. and being in gangs. Investigators say the 21-year-old driver, who is believed to be their football coach, and an 11-year-old passenger were also shot. Police say they are expected to physically recover. As a father, I cannot express the level of grief and anger the unthinkable happened. The senseless loss of a 13-year-old child and the permanent scars that will remain on the other children that were in the car. Sheriff Waters says JSO is receiving help from federal agencies, including the FBI, DEA, ATF, and U.S. Marshals. He says investigators are putting in extra man hours and using all of their resources to solve this case. The sheriff has this message for whoever is responsible. We will not rest. We will not tire and we won't waver. All our agency's resources are being mobilized to stop you from hurting anyone else in our community. You will be held accountable. Today, the sheriff did not take any questions from the media, so we did not uh, get to receive any new information about a possible suspect or motive. But they're asking if you have any information about this drive-by shooting, call the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office here or Crime Stoppers. Tonight, up to a $9,000 reward is being offered for any information leading to an arrest. Reporting live, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, The Local Station.